Quick announcement, I've created a new series of transitions now available inside of the KDE store inside of Hidden Live. To access it, simply go inside of the effects tab and go to download and then you'll have access to all of the available effects template. You can search for Nuxtux in order to find the collections that I've contributed. When installing the transitions, you'll be prompted to choose between the regular 1080p version and the 4K version. Once you have the effects installed, you can find them inside of the star with the little pencil. And using them is just as easy as before. You can see in the name 12F for 12 frames. So simply cut out 12 frames and then drag and drop. In goes on the first cut and then out goes on the second cut. Now these new transitions are similar to the previous ones but differ in two major ways. The first one being aesthetics. Now the previous transitions had a more seamless grid around the main image. And this is because everything was mirrored, making the seams a lot less obvious. This new one, however, is simply a grid, but the motion blur does make up for the seams at the edges of the grid. The second major difference is the complexity. The previous version was made up of a complex stack of effects just to generate the seamless grid and then the transition. It was a little harder to navigate and harder to modify because you'd have to know exactly where to go and change the keyframes. However, in this new version, it's a lot simpler. It's only made up of three effects and it's easier to change the timing and the interpolation of the animation. These three effects are the video grid to generate the grid around the main image, a transform to zoom in at 300% in order to put the image back into focus or rather the main shot back into focus. And then finally, we have directional blur for the directional transitions in box blur for the spin transitions. Now it's important to note that because we're zooming in at 300% with the transform, this will result in a blurrier image. To fix this, you can add a sharpen effect and then increase the level of sharpening in order to have a more seamless transition between the original shot and the transition shot. I didn't include the sharpen because I figured for one, it makes things a little heavier and for two, not everyone might care or notice that the image goes from a sharp to blur during the transition. And that's it. You can click on this playlist here to learn more about Kid Alive and thanks for watching.